I don't always feel like I'm the queen of the world, but when looking at so many beautiful sights, I feel like everything will just work out for me. I don't know, I guess I'm just so blessed. <laughs> um, so here's another vlog, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Bye! It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh my gosh, I just got to my hotel after I reached and you guys would not believe the day that I have had. Look, I don't know whether I should show you guys around the room first or just breathe. Like, I have a story time. Like, this is kind of exciting. But I was so stressed out while it was happening. You guys go ahead and watch the intro. I'm taking off my shoes and getting a little comfortable. Um, I guess I show y'all around the room. This is my first time seeing the room, too. So... We'll show you guys around the room and I'll tell you guys what happened in that order. Okay, so you first come in. Okay, so you first come in, there's a sign, there's these things on the door, the emergency plan, and there's this area. When you open it, the lights come on. The phone's ringing. One moment! Six months later. How many? Six. 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 Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. You know, she was a nice lady. Back to showing you guys the room. So this is the door right here, and then there's like a little shoe cubby, because you know, you're not supposed to be wearing your shoes inside. I don't know. There's like this little closet. When you open it, the lights come on. Very fancy, very neat, very neat, mm-hmm. And then there's the one right next to it. Ooh. Ooh. Look, you look, look, look. Non-complimentary. Non-complimentary what? What is in here? more sheets i don't know but anyway there's some more stuff yeah and then you close that i don't know if the lights just stay on i think the light is just staying on wow interesting well enough about that then we have this long mirror we have look at me you're looking at me i'm looking at you and i believe it opens it does lots of space we're gonna be here for like eight days so you know it's real nice to have all of this space and i can show you guys the bathroom as well doesn't look like they have a bidet but they have enough tissue let me tell you i ran out of tissue at the last place this is more than enough tissue and then you know enough towels now this area looking schnazzy and look at that like does it open no, it's, it's in mountain on the wall. But look at this area. What about this? This look like it open. You know, I, I'll search. I'll go through some drawers. Ooh, a mat for the shower. That's a nice looking shower over here. Ooh. But yeah, this is a nice bathroom. Come on over here. And we got the snack thing galore. Snacks on snacks on snacks. Coffee pot. You know, tea cups. But there's no tea. Why give me a tea thing if there's no tea? What is this? Little trash garbage bags. Paper towels. You open this up. What is it? Mini fridge. Ooh. Ooh. Utensils. Here's the tea. Here's the coffee. Here's everything. That's nice. Then we come over here. We got some slippers. <gasps> we got water for days. Damn. 
That's a lot of water. I'm going to drink it too. And then look. Look over here. We got, you know, a little table. Oh, a little tea set. Wow. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we got a little TV over here. What is this? A remote dialing. Something I can't read. Something I can't read. Alcohol mask tied. What is this? Mmm. Mmm. I'm just opening everything up. <laughs> you know, I'm a kid. I'm a kid in, in the grocery store. Now, this bed ain't as big as my last bed, sadly. And then, what is this? I guess I'm supposed to be taking my temperature or something. I can't read that. And here's the view. It's not much to look at. Is my window open? Why is my window open? Why did I close it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Actually, I don't think it's open. I just think that a lot of sound comes through. Like it is unlocked. This side is locked. I don't know. I'll just close that. So anyway, story time. Hi. Let me take this damn mask off. So here's what happened. Went to the airport and they decided to randomly pull me aside and interview my ass. They pulled me out of the thing, out of the line, and they were asking me all types of questions. It made me feel like I'm not supposed to be here. They asked for proof to see my diploma. Like, I was just like, what, you think I don't have a diploma? You know, like I felt like, damn, son. I was, I was, I wasn't the last person to get inside of the airport. Um, but I was the last person to leave. They literally were cleaning the airport. Everyone's getting ready to leave. And I literally stayed behind for like 40 extra minutes just so they could, I don't even know what they were doing because they didn't give me any information. They were like, what are you doing here? I was like, to teach. What are you teaching? English. Who are you teaching English with? And I, I gave them all of the information. They were like, how long are you going to be here? I was like, a year. And then he kept asking me how long I'm going to be here. I'm like, a year. I'm going to be here a year. And he was like, it was just really stressful. And like, I think the thing that really got to me is because like everyone, I mean, everyone was done and gone. And I was still back there just sitting. And I had absolutely no information of why we were having such a hard time, except I was the only American, not even the only American, because there were other Americans there, specifically Americans that like spoke, um, um, uh, cast out the bag, but I didn't speak that language. So I was like the only American there that did not speak that language. There was um, the girl that I'm really hanging out with, um, I don't want to put her name out here, but she's really nice and she was there and she's from South Africa and they had her in and it took her a little while, but they had her in and pretty much out compared to me. She had probably like, she, she took a walk in the park and I took the walk along the beach, you know? Um, and it was just very frustrating and scary because I was just like, yo, what's going on? Um not very exciting to really talk about now. Like, it's just like, oh yeah, that happened. Um, but uh, we got to the hotel and the other girl, she told me that the company had told her all of this information, like, oh, we're supposed to do, they haven't given me any type of information except yesterday they told me, hey, there's a girl that lives in the same hotel as you. You guys should go to the airport together. And today they told me, okay, here's what you do. You go to the airport, you get your COVID test, you get your results, then you go and get your boarding pass and you get on the plane. That's all the information they've given me. Like they haven't really given me much information. And I think it's because I don't have WeChat. WeChat is like the app that I'm supposed to have. But anytime I try to like uh, apply or get it, it doesn't work. So earlier today, I tried it with a girl who had a WeChat account. Um, but I think because she was a foreigner, she didn't have her account too long or, um, no, she said she like signed up her husband, 
like her boyfriend and her family auntie and so i think because she signed up too many people recently she couldn't sign me up so that's understandable but um when i went to the uh gate to get on the plane i was like oh yeah they were like do you have wechat i was like no i don't have wechat and so they were like oh no you need wechat and i was like i can't sign in and so they tried to sign me in and the problem is wechat was like fuck you wechat was like no i don't want you to get in I don't want you. And so, like, we, it, I went the furthest I've ever been with WeChat. I went so freaking far with WeChat only to get denied. Like, I got a confirmation code and everything, and it did not work. It was like, try again later. I was like, do you know how many times I've been trying again later? The inside of my pants, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they are, I am rubbing wearing them in i am wearing these pants and i just can't wait to take my freaking bra off and i'm gonna go shower because like it's not always that i feel like dusty crusty and musty but today is one of those days like i done sweat it <laughs> you know what i'm saying i done sweat it but on the plus side when we got on the airport there was a man sitting in me in her seat um that we just so happened to have seats right next to each other and the plane wasn't too full so we got to sit in two different seats and we got a window seat and it was like really really comfortable also like i forgot to say this but mcdonald's fried chicken i had that today and it was bussing so if you ever get the chance to try mcdonald's fried chicken let me let me tell you also uh like i'm giving you guys all of the details so late because i'm just it's just, I'm all over the place. But also on another note, we got to the hotel. Um, like I told you guys earlier, my people haven't given me any information. We're sitting around and it took a while for the other girl to get her card and everything. And then the lady looked at me and she was like, okay, so we got to start with you. And I was just like, oh, well, they're supposed to be dealing with me too. And, um, I gave her the lady number, the contact number of the lady. She called her, she did not answer. And she was just like, she was like, well, we can put it on your card and then we can give you a refund if they give you the information back. And I was like, you know what? At this point, I asked her how much it was. She told me it was $700. And I was like, okay, take it. <laughs> like, just take it. $700, take it from my account and I know that the company is going to have to pay me back for this. Like, I know that it's not going to forever be off my uh, account. So they're going to owe me an extra $700 on top of all of this. And they're lucky. They're freaking lucky that I had the $700 that I had. You know what I mean? Like, geez. Because what if I didn't? Um, at this point, I then showed you guys all around. Like, there ain't much else to tell you. I'm in quarantine for like another eight days. <sighs> At least now I could probably edit some videos. I avoided editing videos last time, but might as well. Might as well. Bye. Okay, life update. I know I've only been traveling for about, I wouldn't even say five days. I've only been here. I want to say for about four days at the most um, but I know for a fact when I left home I was 275.9 and I just got on the scale like legitimately just got on the scale and it literally said 269.9 so I've like already lost like four pounds like a pound a day <laughs> like amazing